Okay, this is a project for another day. What I'm here to talk to you about is the sawn off and how to connect it to different devices. Everybody probably knows if you've got your your cable going to your lamp, two wire cable going to your lamp, you just have to hook up uh, the two wires to the load and the neutral on either side. So this side would be your input, this side would be your output. And to know which wire is which on a, a typical cord like this, you'll notice that one prong is wider than the other and one's uh, not, not wider. Uh, so the wide one is always your white one. So white is wide and that's also your neutral. So that's how you determine which wire goes to neutral and load. But we're here to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you different places that you can put these. And first thing you're going to need to do is open it up, take it out of the box. So once it's out of the box, we can put this into different places. So I'll show you that now. So I've always thought, why control one thing when you can control many? And so here I've got a uh, power bar. This one's already been modded. I've taken out the switch and I actually used the back cover of one of these, cut down a piece of plastic to cover the switch hole there because we now have a, have a sawn off inside of there. And so the first thing we need to do is open this up. And I've got only just one screw holding it right now. And you want to make sure you buy, if you're going to be trying this, you're going to have to find a power bar that probably has some sort of surge protection in here. That way they have a little bit more space by the switch area. So uh, inside here I've got the sawn off. And so you can see why I've covered up that switch hole because I've got a sawn off in there and I use some epoxy to hold it in place. It no longer really needs this plastic cover because it's in a plastic cover inside of here. And so what I've done is I've taken the two wires that normally go to the output, hooked it up to the output for the power bar. And uh, there's not a lot of room in here. You may have to trim a little bit of plastic or something to get it to fit in there. Be careful how you're fitting it in there. In here, you don't want anything to short or anything. You can see I've even put some epoxy here by the um, neutral hot and ground wire so that they uh, aren't going to move around or anything and, and short anything out. And uh, yeah, so that's one solution is to put it inside a power bar like that. And I had to cut down the switch here. The switch here is a, it's a fairly long post on this switch. I wanted to make sure that that wasn't being activated by the by the back cover so I just took a pair of cutters and cut that down so that it'll fit and so that's one way you can uh, modify that this one here I'm going to actually modify it it's I'm running Tasmoda on here and I'm going to throw a resistor on here and I'm going to put in a sensor as well so once you modify it with the different software you can get these sensors this is a temperature probe and so you got three wires you need to connect to it and a resistor you have to throw in there and uh, then this way we'll also be able to tell the temperature this one was a power bar from my gazebo and I want to know what the temperature is out there is it warm enough for me to go outside and sit out there or is it uh, too cold or too hot so I'm gonna throw in the sensor there just uh, when I first did this I didn't have the sensors um, but I already had the Tasmoda on here so I'm gonna throw in the resistor and uh, I'll just melt a hole with my soldering iron to get access for the cord. So I'll do that real quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in a resistor and I've taken the resistor. It's a 4.7 K ohm resistor. So it's yellow, purple, red. 4.7 K ohm resistor. And I'm going to put that in on the two pins. Uh, one pin is going to be, oops, this one here, and the other pin is that one. So it's the two far pins. If this is a sawn off version one, if you don't have a version one, you'll have to uh, look at one of my other videos where I show how to get access to GPIO 14, or you could watch somebody else's video to find out how they do it, but uh, this is how I'm doing it. So 
So now that the resistor is in place, we just need to solder it. So I'm just going to apply some heat and some solder. So now that the resistor is soldered in place, we just need to hook up the three wires. Now that the ground wire is secure, I'm going to just put in a little bit of flux on either end of this resistor because that's where the other two wires go and we're just going to tack them on there. So I'll put a little bit of solder on there first. And I've tinned the wires as well to make it uh, a little quicker. So the red wire goes to this side. And the yellow wire goes to the other side. And that's it for hooking up a sensor to here. Now we just need to, you notice I have a knot there, that's to keep it from pulling out once I have it installed. Oops. I want this to be underneath. And we just need a hole through the casing here, so rather than a drill, I'm just going to use my soldering iron. Just going to take a razor blade and clean up the outside edge. There, so my mod is done, and uh, we'll close it up. Okay, here we are back in the gazebo, and I'll use Google to turn the lights on. Okay, Google, gazebo on. Sure, turning on gazebo lights. Okay, Google, gazebo off. Okay, Google. Gazebo off. Sure, turning off gazebo lights. So there's one way of uh, using your sawn off. It's hidden, doesn't look ugly. Uh, you want to make sure though you don't plug your Google into this because once it turns it off, it uh, won't respond. Uh, I actually just use my phone when I'm outside. I just brought it out here so that I can. So that I can demonstrate for you. And now with the temperature probe, now with the temperature probe we can also get the temperature out here. So we'll know what the temperature is outside. Or I guess I could put it outside here and know what the temperature is outside. This is actually uh, just access to the power on the garage wall. And here's the console from from the Tasmoda showing the gazebo with the temperature. That's the, the probe that I use, a uh, DS18B8. 
B20. I think it's listed as a DS18X20. And there's a temperature outside. And we can toggle it on and off through this console. Or I, like I said, I've got a Google Home hooked up to Google Google Home and to my Hubitat so I can control it and view it and change it remotely and whatnot.